what's up, you guys? I'm doing a review on Wild Cards by Simone Alcalas today, and I have only one word to describe this book, and that is perfection. I wanted to mark so many things in this book, but I did not have my tabs, and that just made me so sad, and I don't like doing the dog ears or the, um, the little, you know what I'm saying, the dog ears on my pages, because that really takes out OCD in me, and... Yeah, so I didn't get to tab any of them, but I just adored this book so much, and everything was just perfect about it. The writing, Simone Alcalas never ever lets me down with her books, and I've only read the Perfect Chemistry series, but I mean, that's enough to know that you love the author. Now, this book actually is now called Better Than Perfect, and I don't really like that title because it makes absolutely no sense, and I just don't like it, but this is like a perfect cover and everything. It's called Wild Cards, and I know I've already said that, but it just, it puts so much thought into the book because they're always taking a wild card, and it's like he's a gambler, and it actually mentions that kind of in the book, and I have just so many feels about this. Now, Wild Cards is about um, I believe Ash, yeah, a girl named Ashton who is a football player, and she meets a guy named Derek, and Derek is actually her sister's stepson, and they move to Chicago, and stuff happens. Now, Ashton is a football player with a boyfriend who is named London, and he does not treat Ashton as well as he used to, so they just fight, and all of a sudden, there is no London in the picture. So, now it's Ashton and Derek. Derek is so dreamy and so precious. And he's, like, my precious off of Harry Potter. You know what I'm saying? The dude, the... That little guy. Uh, what, isn't his name Doubly? Or something? I don't... I haven't read Harry Potter. Please don't kill me. I don't really watch the movies either. My brother does. But, anyways... I can't explain how much I love this. Okay, so, this is about a girl named Ashton and a guy named Derek, and Derek moves from Texas because he was kicked out of boarding school. I think, it, no, it was from California, and he was kicked out of boarding school, and he had to move to Chicago with his stepmom, with his little brother, and he just moves there and moves in with Brandy's dad, Gus, and... Gus does not like Derek, he thinks he's a thug, and all of this stuff, and when Derek goes outside, Ashton actually goes back there and sees him, and he's in the shed, and she is a tomboy, so she's like, I will call the police, and has a pitchfork, and like stabs him, and then that's how it starts, and I just thought that was like the best like beginning of a book ever, and it was so amazing, and... Yeah. So they go on throughout the book, and Derek faces issues about not having a mom and how his dad is in the Navy and in a submarine for the next five months, and he's stuck with his stepmom, Brandy, who is pregnant. And Ashton has a hard time dealing with the fact that she just found out from Derek and not her own sister that she's pregnant, and yeah. Um, so Ashton has this huge dream of going to the state championships and Derek actually has gone twice and he hasn't told Ashton that secret yet. Derek used to be a star football player and he hasn't touched a football since the day of the funeral of his mom. Ashton is a huge football player and wants to be like Katie, oh I don't remember her last name, but a girl named Katie who is like the first ever girl to go to the NFL and play in the pros. So this book follows just Ashton's obstacles in becoming a professional football player and all of this stuff goes on and playing college ball and she finds out stuff about Derek and Derek finds stuff about Ashton and it's just a, such a good and crazy wild ride and it was so amazing so I definitely recommend this book like don't even I highly recommend getting this one not better than perfect I know it seems weird recommending the same book just in different titles but I recommend this one because it does I think it will feel different if you read one that's called Wild Cards and not the one called Better Than Perfect. Um, I know that just seems like me, but I mean, I don't know. But 
Yeah, so this book is like 300 and how many pages? 344 pages, and it's so amazing. I just, that's the only words I have. <laughs> it's amazing and perfect and everything. So please go pick this book up right now, and I highly recommend it. I will leave my Goodreads review down below, but there's really no point in reading it, because the only word that is there is the word perfect. So, <laughs> yeah. But anyhow, I definitely recommend this, and I know I've said that about five times, but it's the truth. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.